Welcome back to the Daily Dish. It is truly the most wonderful time of year celebrating the holidays with family and friends. Now, the American Red Cross wants your holiday season to be truly wonderful and is offering up some really safety tools and tips for the holiday season. Joining me now is Sherry Van Bibber, an American Red Cross blood account executive. And what I didn't know about the season is that this is the peak time for cooking fires. Exactly. And, and basically about 20 fires a day across the United States. So it's a big so cause. So what are people doing? Are they not paying attention? Or are they thinking they are cooking multiple meals and not like leaving the stove? What's going on? I think especially since kind of the world came back after COVID, I think we are actually thinking two steps ahead of what we're actually doing. And we just lose track of everything. Running from room to room, doing things if you have kids. Dogs, work, we're working at home. All of these things get in the way, and I think we just get busy and forget. We leave the things on the stove. We leave the candle burning. And maybe we're cooking more, too, with events happening at your house yeah. or you're hosting. So many things going on, and you're dealing with the pets or the guests and your kids all at the same time. You also want to mention candles. That's a biggie, too, right. that people leave. Right, we were talking about that. Um, a lot, I know this year I went to a lot more of the battery operated candles and they're all over my house and I leave them going the whole time and I don't have to worry about anything. But they don't smell as good. That's true. So, I mean, that's the safe route, but then people love the smell of candles. Yeah, so I know I always keep one. Um, and we were talking, put a, put a metal or, you know, base underneath it no matter what. So it's not on a wood. And then, yeah, try and keep it like in the vicinity of where you are, never leave. And the same with cooking. Don't be cooking or frying and walk away into the other room with the phone rings, computer, you get called. All away. those distractions. Yes. Okay, another tip too is electric heaters. Yes. People leave those out and on and forget about them. Yes, and they're usually close to. A bedspread or curtains or, or your tree, your live yes, tree, or your trees. Or furniture. You're right. Yeah. So just the rule of thumb is to keep them three feet away from anything that could possibly catch on fire. But definitely, hopefully, you have one that clicks off after two hours. But watch watch those specifically because that's pretty. That's a, a big cause. All right. Any other safety tips you can pass along to people during the season? We have uh, another one with the travel safety too, and that's um, going to like right now with the weather and what's going on. And I always suggest um, doing an emergency kit. So I do that for all of my kids. Try and and um, get a fire extinguishers for your house, for your car, um, for all of that. And check your car too, right? We, yes. we talked about the wipers. How simple. Simplistic it is, and you take it for granted, but you need it on a day like today when the roads are slick, the snow is coming down, and you don't know how much snow you're dealing with. I've never felt more helpless than when I worked downtown and there was a snowstorm and I tried to drive home and my windshield wipers weren't were cracked working. And, and they weren't working. There was no traveling. I mean, it was it was horrible. So that's a definite your windshield wiper fluid, your windshield wipers, emergency kits, and base that on your family needs if you have dogs, babies. And you never, you never know, too, if there's a big accident that happens up ahead and right. how long you'll be stuck in your car. That emergency kit can save you. Yes, blankets, coats, all of those things, hand warmers, all of those things that might come in handy, especially if you're traveling, like from California to here. We often get stuck on that road um, and, and sometimes for hours. So it just never hurts. And yeah, we Sherry, all should have that. such good reminders, yeah. especially this time of year. The Red Cross is always there for us. Where can people find more information? And you have something else. Yes, no, also batteries in your fire alarm. Batteries in your fire alarm. <laughs> Make sure that they are switched and changed and they're in working order. Yes, I was going to say, mine always go off every time I cook, so I know they work, but... That's not a good way to test them. Test them every month and make sure. Okay, <laughs> it's the redcross.org. That's slash where you, fire. And slash fire. You yeah. want to go there. For more information, we'll yeah. put a link on our website. Sherry, always good to see you and happy holidays. Thank you.